In this video, I'm going to be ranking all the weapons inside of Roblox Islands so you know what weapon you should get. Now, I'm going to be doing this a little bit differently. As you all know, you have skills in here, what is going to determine what damage it does to each weapon. Now, since I don't have it all laid out at the exact level at 85 or whatever, I'm going to be doing them in categories. So, light melee, heavy melee, archery, and magic, I'm going to be telling you the top five from that category. So, that is how this video is going to be laid out. So, yeah. Yeah, enjoy. So the first one we're going to be starting with is Light Melee. Now the first weapon, what is the one of the best weapons in this category, is the Noxia Stinger. Now the reason why I've gone ahead and picked this one is the first one, is as you can see it does a base damage of 80 and then does 112 damage. And it also goes ahead and does a little bit of tick damage, what is like 13 tick damage, what is insane. And now we don't only have to go in and use that, we've got this ability what we can throw and it does 80 damage. Now this is why I've gone ahead and chose this is the first one since it does the most damage, it does tick damage and it completely obliterates any mob. Now the second one in light melee is the Divine Dao. Now this one is a bit expensive of uh, 400 billion coins, but it does 101 damage to 73 damage with tick damage as well. Now this one is just a little bit less damage than the Noxia Stinger, but does the same amount of tick damage. So if you want to spend 400 billion instead of like 10 billion, then go ahead. Now the third one, what I was really surprised with in Light Melee was the Ruby Sword. Now you're gonna be like, wait, what the Ruby Sword? I thought that was like a really basic weapon. Well, when you actually go ahead and fight, 77 damage to 107 damage. So you're doing 77 damage to 107 damage on a Ruby Sword. What you can easily go to a shop and buy. What is like, I can buy one of these for like, I think it's 900 million in the shop and it does so much damage. Now, unfortunately it doesn't do tick damage or anything fancy, but for a Ruby Sword, what isn't that hard to craft, it is pretty overpowered in my opinion. Now, obviously, we've got to have the Jolly Dagger. So the Jolly Dagger is number four in this, and the only reason I've done it as number four is since it doesn't do an overload amount of damage, but it goes ahead and heals you. So if we go ahead and do a fair bit of damage right now, we should be able to go quickly heal back up by just hitting it. As you can see, I am quickly healing up and not dying. So it is a really good weapon since you can quickly heal up, then switch back to like the Noxious or something to go ahead and do the main damage. Now it does do a fair bit of damage by doing 69 to around 95, but it's still only really useful for the healing. Now, of course, I've had to go ahead and chuck in the Captain's Rapier as number 5 since it is one of the best ones for just loot. Now, this weapon is not good for damage, as you can clearly see. 47 to 62, that is not very good, but it's mostly for using another weapon to get the thing low to quickly get the last hit because it does 20% more luck when you're in combat. So meaning you're gonna get more loot from killing this mob than you would with a normal weapon. Now that's the only reason I really put it here since who doesn't really want a captain's rapier. Okay so the next one is going to be magic. So basically the first one I've gone ahead and done in magic is the lightning scepter. Now the lightning scepter does around 20 base damage but it does three ticks of it so it is doing around 90 damage and it does tick damage what is insane since it does 90 damage and tick damage it is doing up to around 110 probably 120 maybe what is really good for killing like buffalo cores and most mobs so this is why I've chosen it for number one in magic now the next one in magic is going to be the Slime Queen Skepta. Now the base damage on this is around 63 to 77, but it has healing. So that is one of the reasons why it's up here since it does not that much damage, but it does do healing. And I'm gonna take a little bit of damage from this mob and I'll show you that it, I will heal from it. As you can see, I'm hitting them and I am healing from hitting them. But yeah, when you hold it down, it does around 70 77 damage and then when you just click it does around 65 what is pretty good but the main reason it's here is because you heal now the next one is going to be the cursed grimoire now this one is more of a just one to be here since it does 
67 to 71. Well, it is pretty good, but not the best, but it's not that bad, so I've just put it at third, because some other ones are way worse. Now, the next one is going to be the title spellbook. Now, this one is a very cheap one, what is only costing around 9 million, but does 53 to around 80 damage randomly, what is really weird. Now, I, I could be wrong that it could just be doing 53. Now, this could just be doing 53, and it could just be because it's a buffalo core that it's doing 80 damage randomly. If, let me know in the comments if I am wrong, but this is why this one's here, since it does 53 and randomly 80, what is really good. Now, the last one on this list is the Spirit Spellbook, is since it does a bunch of things like it heals you with the green orbs and it goes ahead and does a bunch of different damage in other ones so it does anywhere from I think 47 to 63 what is really good for just a spirit spell book and it has the bonus of healing and it's not even that much it's around 300 million to go out and buy this so it's pretty good for a weapon in my opinion if you don't want to get up close okay and the next category is going to be heavy melee now the first one on this list is going to be the Cursed Hammer. Now, the Cursed Hammer does a base damage of 91 damage to 129. What is insane in my opinion, 129 to 91. As you can clearly see, this is why it is number one. It does so much damage, it is really expensive to go ahead and buy, but it is pretty good for the damage. But this is probably one of the most overpowered weapons inside of Islands, so I'd definitely recommend trying to get it if you have the money, but if you don't, then it's all good. I've got a couple other ones in this list. Now the next one is the Reaper's Scythe. Now the Reaper's Scythe does 81 damage to 115. What is really good, it's not that much off the Cursed Hammer, but it's a lot cheaper. So it's basically 10 more less damage than the Cursed Hammer, but it's a lot cheaper. Now the next one is a pretty easy one to go ahead and buy. You can see some shops actually selling this. What is the Serpent's Bane? It does anywhere from 78 to 111 damage. What is pretty good in my opinion. It is one of the only ones you can actually find in shops what like are going to willingly sell it. Uh, and it does so much damage for you being able to buy it in shops for a billion right now. Now this is probably going to raise quickly. Now if you can quickly buy it at shops it is going to be better for you since it's probably going to raise and no one's going to be selling it at their shops. And the next one on this list is the Infernal Hammer. Now the Infernal Hammer does a base damage of 76 to 106. What is really good, so it is pretty good. This one's actually around a billion coins too, so these other three, what I'm going to show you is around a billion coins, but from 76 to 106 is really good. And I'm pretty sure it does fire damage to some mobs. I could be mistaken, let me know in the comments, but as you can see, it's doing it to Buffalo Claws, but it is a really good weapon and it's pretty cheap to craft. Now the last one on this list is the Antler Hammer, doing anywhere from 60 damage to 83 damage. Now it's mostly going to do 60, but it is going to do 88 three damage every now and there. Now this is not the best weapon, but it is really good to see it do 60 damage to around 83, so I would recommend getting it if you have the money. But I'm going to show you guys a bonus one. If you are a new player, the best weapon to get is the Gilded Steel Hammer. Now this one was really shocking since it does anywhere from 48 to 64 damage. What is insane for a weapon? What isn't even that much to craft? Like, this one is like, I think they sell for around 90 million and it does this much damage. So if you are new and you need a weapon, just get the Gilded Steel Hammer. Don't bother with any of these other ones. This is really good to start with. Now the next one I'm doing is Archery. Now I've only got three for this since pretty much all the other ones are really useless and they don't do really anything. So the first one on this list is the Reaper's Crossbow. As you all know it, it does around 75 damage when you hold it down fully. It's just a really good crossbow, really accurate, goes straight ahead reloads pretty fast and it's just one of the better bows out there now the next one is going to be the nature's divine bow and does 58 base damage and randomly does poison damage what is really good so this is why this one's second it does a decent amount of damage with tick damage so that's why it's here 
And the last one on this list is the Azarasian Longbow. Now this one does around a little bit more damage than the Nature's Divine Bow, but it is going to have not as much accuracy. Nature's Divine Bow has a lot more accuracy, and this one just doesn't have any tick damage, so yeah, it's it's just not. So I just kind of put it here since it's kind of we needed a three. So yeah, anyway. But if you guys want to go ahead and get the full list of every single weapon, because I have it of every single weapon, all the damage it does, I'm going to include it in my Discord server. So if you want to know all the damage of most of the weapons, I'm going to include a new channel what's going to be called uh, the Weapons Tier List or something like that. And you can go ahead and look at all the damages, what every single weapon does in that server. So if you want to go ahead and join it, it's the first link in the description. So yeah, go ahead and click that and you should be able to find that. And yeah, if you click on this video right up here if you want to see me trolling Roblox Island shops.